the, where my Turtle Beach headsets that I'm using to record my voice and whatnot, it cuts into my ear and it really irritates me after like a, after like a couple hours of uh, wearing my glasses with my uh, my what you call it my headphones. So really irritating. <sighs> Whatever. Let's see. We don't need the zombie meat. Or, oh yeah, that's right. We also need to start our own sugarcane farm. And for now, we're just gonna replant some of our wheat here. Fuck yeah! Put it away. Oh yeah, and the iron and the hose. <laughs> yeah, the hose. The ho the hose have actually changed textures. So if we take a look at this, and we do this. Ah oh, shit. This is what the wooden hoe looks like. It's basically Reimu's, um gohei thing. If you guys don't know what a gohei is, um, it's the th it's a like a ritual baton stick with like ritual papers on the end of it, and this is what it is. Or this is what it looks like. And this is supposed to be uh, Komachi's scythe thing. This is the iron hoe. I wonder if the st I don't think the stone hoe has its own texture pack, so I'm not gonna even try. Let's see what we can put away. Um, first of all, though. We're gonna use up all nearly all these saplings in order to get some more saplings, and let's see here. What can we stash away? Oh, first of all, we need to put the pumpkins away so we can remember to um, start building them a uh, pumpkin or uh, the pumpkin uh, farm. And do I have any diamonds? I think I know how to make music boxes, but I don't. I don't know. I do not have any diamonds. Well, fuck. I think what you need to do is make a, a square out of box or out of wooden planks, and then uh, put a single diamond in the middle. That's I think that's how you make a music box. So we're gonna stash that music disc there. Come back to it later. And sugarcane goes outside in that outside crate thingy, right here. And let's see, eggs, eggs as always go. And here, if I can name it, probably yes. Alright, so, let's see what else I can put away. Nothing much, I don't think. So, what's that? Anything up here that I need to take? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, so, what we're gonna do now is... Alright, okay, I got some more wood. I think this is jungle wood as well, and, I, and uh, now, if most of you guys probably know that the textures on the wood, each individual type of wood has also changed. Just like the coloring of it, so... Alright, so what we're gonna do now here is... Um, actually... Now that I think about it... Hmm... Will they grow? Will pumpkins grow onto wood? I don't think they will. I, I really don't think they will. I'm not too sure. We'll try it anyway. Alright, pumpkins. Uh, I guess we'll convert like 12 of you and keep the last pumpkin in there. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be good. And then get some more of my bone meal. Wherever the fuck it is. Bone meal. But we're going to boom. God, these hitboxes are so small. Boom, 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 boom. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna see if they actually grow onto. Uh, they can grow uh, pumpkins onto the grass, uh, the wooden blocks. But I highly doubt it. I really do. I highly doubt it. And if they don't make pumpkins soon, then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pl uh, place uh, wooden blocks next to them. So but until then, though, we'll come back. I right, put the pumpkin seeds in there again, and I better make some ladders to make the second platform up there. Uh, first of all, though. We're going to uh, make some saplings from these guys. So here's what I found. So 
in my in another world that I was screwing around in, um, I had stumbled upon in some jungle biomes, and uh, I took some saplings and whatnot, and I was making like a huge tower, like a tower, a tree tower up into the sky, and this is what I found by accident. This is pu purely by accident. If you go, if if I think it's also affected by like like the sky limit or something like that, but I'm not too sure. Um, but here here's what happens. If you do this, and you if you take one sapling. And you take, or actually, just to be sure, I'll put some wooden blocks over it as well. And you take um, three other normal saplings of any kind. I think it works with any kind anyway. And you take, oh, I forgot my bone meal. Fuck. I'm gonna get that bone meal. Can't miss that bone meal. And take the bone meals. I'm gonna take some bones too, just in case we uh, run out of all the fucking bone meal for whatever goddamn reason. And you bone mule them. This should happen. Fuck. Maybe it didn't work the first time. It sometimes takes a few tries. Weird. Did they patch this? Damn it, that's not what I meant to do. God damn it. Grass, grass, grass. Hmm, maybe they did patch this. I don't know. Maybe they did, because what I had experienced was that if you block, like, if you intentionally block the tree's growth of putting these in four in a square, like this, and with one jungle sapling in it, then what would it, what sh what happened for me is that um, they all converted to uh, jungle saplings, and that's how I, I could get lots of jungle saplings. But it looks like they patched it. I don't, I don't see it happening right now. Dang it. Sucks. Yeah, that that kind of blows. Well, whatever. It w I guess it was a glitch, so I guess that by now they fixed it. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I am going to make a giant ass um, tower out here in the more open area. Get rid of all this fucking grass first. Make sure not to hit Yuka Sunflower. Otherwise, we know what is gonna happen to me if I do. And we're gonna do this, place down a jungle sapling, da da da, and make it grow. Ah, oh, I guess I only grew one of them. Damn it. Alright, well, time to cut down some trees. And if that doesn't work, we can always go back to the original jungle and cut down all the trees there, uh, promote deforestation and what sh shit, and whatnot, and uh, huh, yeah. Syringe shit. Anyways, guys, it's about time that I finished recording. So, um, hopefully, uh, when you watch this again, I will have more saplings to come. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.